Namam Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prashtaya Bhutale Srimate Bhakti Vedanta Swamukti Namo Namaste Sarasati Deve Gaudavani Prajarane Nir Vishesha Srinivadi Pashtu Vesita Since our last conference in Nairobi in 2012, BBT Africa has grown and matured. Govardhan Prabhu has assembled a capable and lively team. We have new faces, new books, and BBT Africa has published a book of my own. So if I may take a moment to talk about that. Though the book bears the title uh, Vanity Karma, a better title might be How is Living Even Worth It? Uh, because that's the actual uh, theme. Vanity Karma is a commentary on a biblical book that has sometimes been called the strangest book in the Bible, because it's a book not of faith, but of philosophy, and it questions what the meaning of life is, and even asks whether life has any meaning at all. In Vanity Karma, therefore, I've tried to do two things. First, explain the straightforward meaning of the biblical text, and second, speak to it, uh, speak to its themes from the point of view of Bhagavad Gita. I've written the book in simple, non-technical language that anyone can read, so that it can be appreciated both by devotees and by anyone else. In a country like Kenya, where most people are Christians, um, Vanity Karma provides a good way to reach people through a book of their own. Are you Christian? Um, we have a book for you. At this conference, I'm also keen to hear more about what you've been up to I know that in Nairobi, after many years, we now have strong programs going on at the university. We have our own student training center across the street from the temple. And we have students here with us today from the university. So I welcome you to this conference and to the wonderful world of publishing and distributing of Krishna Conscious Books. And I'm keen also to hear more about what else is going on in Krishna Consciousness in Kenya and how the BBT can help. Finally, since our last conference, uh, I've resigned as an international BBT trustee, in fact, two years ago. And our Govardhan Prabhu has taken uh, my place I still stay involved with things at BBT Africa, but as a friend, not as a man with a boat. That's how life is in devotional service. We do our best to serve and help and train and encourage others, and then get out of the way and let others take things to the next level. So now, quite literally, I'll get out of the way and hand the stage over to Gordon Prabhu. Hare Krishna.